All right, guys, so we're going to get into some of the options that are available with Auth0, and there's a lot of them. You can really customize this. So this is the documentation page for all the options, and what I want to do is create a file that will hold the options for us. So let's put, let's see, we're going to go into our app folder and create a file called auth.options.ts. All right, and then in here, we're just going to say export a const called options, and we'll set that to an object. Okay, let's save that, and then we're going to go into our service, and we're going to import that. So let's say import options from, and we want to go dot dot slash auth.options all right and then down here where we have this empty curly brace we're going to put in options okay so if we save that we're not going to see any difference but let's make sure we have no errors okay now let's take a look at the options so the first one here is allowed connections and this is where you can actually set if you want to have um, things like Twitter or Facebook or whatever it may be. Um, also, the username and password authentication. So you could just do Twitter if you wanted to. So, for example, let's go into the options and let's say allowed connections, and that's an array. So let's say Twitter. If we save that and We'll go and log out after it reloads. And then we'll try to log back in. And we just get a Twitter button. All right. Now, if we wanted to do Twitter as well as the username and password, we could just grab this and paste that in and save it. All right. So now. If we click login, we have Twitter and username and password. Okay, so you can do that. I'm just going to comment that out. And I'm not going to go through all of these options because there is quite a bit. Um, what else do we have? Auto close determines whether or not the lock will be closed automatically after a successful sign in. The default is false. Okay. Um, Closable, so you can make it um, see how it has an, an X. You can take that away and not be able to close it. Container this um, the idea of the HTML element where the widget will be shown. Language you can choose different languages. Um, language dictionary, so you can have multiple languages. Remember the last login. Okay, and then you have different theming options. So what's this one here? Um, labeled submit button false. So I guess you don't have to have a label on the submit button. Um, you can have your own logo, which is really cool. So you just want to set theme, logo, and then a link to that image. All right, so there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, now, if you want to add another field, you could do that as well. So let's see. Additional sign up fields. Okay, so it's kind of lengthy here, uh, but I'm just going to grab everything that's in here. And uh, let's see, we're going to just replace this, I guess. So, what this is doing is it's adding a, an address field. Okay, you can add a placeholder if you want. You can add a, an icon. You can add, you can pre fill it. You can add validation. All right, so that's address. We also have this full name. So let's save that and see what it gives us. Okay, so now if I go and click login, huh, it's not there. Oh, sign up. Okay, so it's not going to be on login. It's going to be on sign up. So you can see we have that address field. Now that icon link uh, is broken, so we're not getting the image. But if it was valid, we'd have the icon. It's pre-filled. Okay, that's the address field. If I get rid of that, you'll see enter your address, and then we have the full name field. So it's pretty easy to add extra fields.
and if you want to add a select you can use this right here all right so if we want actually I'll show you an example let's grab that and replace that so this is for a location so now if I click login and we go to sign up now we have a cool drop down all right now I'm not going to mess with the options. What I'm going to what I'm going to do is just paste in all of the options here for you to see and have and then you can uncomment the ones you want. So let's just replace this. And now you can see I've just added all the options that you can take a look at. All right, I'm not going to go through every single one. And then we'll save that and since it's commented out, it's not going to change anything. All right, but obviously if you want to use one of these, just go ahead and uh, make sure it's not commented out. All right, so pretty simple. Uh, in the next video, we're going to get to the auth guard so that we can um, we can block certain routes, certain pages from loading if the user's not logged in.